extension last night. Um, can you just talk about what that that means to you, and you know, just coming coming into your own here and, and being able to get that uh, contract? Man, it's so much of a it's, it's so much of a blessing, you know. Uh, man, I'm just so blessed, you know. Me, my family. Uh, it's it's so much of a blessing, man. I really can't even put it into words, you know. I mean, in 2016, I was back in Cleveland. You know what I mean? I was I was contemplating retirement. You know, I was like, uh, and I prayed, you know, like, God, if you're not done with me in this game, then, you know, use me, you know, rejuvenate my mind, rejuvenate my body. And he did that. And since then, you know, I uh, was able to go to New York, be successful, get a contract here, and I get, you know, an extension. And then playing in my backyard, uh, playing on a phenomenal team, and, you know, I'm just so blessed. It, for me, it was really, I didn't want to leave this family. I didn't want to leave this brotherhood, you know? Uh, and so when I was in a situation where, you know, potentially go and, and play it out and go to free agency or stay, man, you know, I just wanted to be here. And it's so much talent, uh, so much love, so much passion, you know, great culture, great community. Um, so me and my family are blessed uh, just to have an extension here and uh, continue to spend a couple more years here with his brotherhood and his family and uh, chase our goals and, and, and winning this Super Bowl and, and more. Next question is from Catherine Terrell. Hey, Demario, when did your contract actually get done? Was that sometime late last night? I feel like it kind of snuck by and has it been in the works for a while? <laughs> you know, they say real G's move in silence like, la like lasagna. <laughs> One of my favorite quotes. And so, yeah. It was, uh, it's been in the work in the works for a minute. Um, uh, but you know, I got, I got a great agency with CAA, Tom Condon and a great relationship with Mickey and, uh, they worked it out and got it done. Um, and it was done, you know, it was working all the way up to the game, but we got it done in time. So that's a blessing. Next question is from Luke Johnson. Hey, Demario, just uh, what did you think about the team's defensive effort today, uh, especially just kind of you know, with like the big plays from Marcus and Janoris and uh, kind of keeping you all up uh, despite the offense kind of struggling for a bit? Yeah, well, I mean, the offense may say they struggle, but, you know, anytime you got 40 points on the board, <laughs> I'm not going to say you struggle. And so uh, for us defensively, you know, it was just important for us to, to, to start fast. Um, you know, we knew we were going to be facing a good offense, a lot of weapons, uh, arguably one of the greatest quarterbacks to, to ever play the game, uh, probably top two, you know. Uh, and so we knew it was going to be a challenge. We knew it was going to be a dog fight. And uh, like our defensive front played, played amazing. Um, you know, even though it's some stuff we got to clean up, but I mean, just played phenomenal. I mean, you were able to play uh, a lot, keep our safeties over the top of these of those great receivers. And um, so it was on the front to, to, to clean up the runs and did, did a phenomenal job with that. And then, you know, having to take away so many of their, their good targets when you got, you know, Gronkowski and got Evans and uh, Godwin, you know. And so, um, and then at the end of the day, you know, the, the takeaways are the, are, are the trump card. And so uh, Marcus, I mean, he's been doing that since he got in the league, you know, arguably one of the best free safeties in the game. And then Janoris Jenkins, for him uh, to do one of our defensive goals, you know, our defensive goal is, is, is to break the, the, the touchdown record. And so he started us off right, you know, and so I think I think now we got to get like nine more to tie or something like that. And so um, for him to, to make that play, that's what he does. Man. I think he moved up like top 10 all time for a defensive touchdown, which he's in great company. And so it's nothing new to him. And so we just got so many great players and uh, great coaching. So it's our job to uh, go out and put in, you know, stop performances no matter uh, what else is going on? Next question from Mike Triplett. Hey, Mario. I think uh, Vegas is Josh Jacobs just had a big game today, but you guys kept that streak alive with no 100-yard rushers. How much do you think your run defense has been an underrated part of your success in the two years, two plus years you've been here now? I don't know if it's um, underrated. It's it's important to us. It's, that's, that's one of our main goals, uh, win the line of scrimmage. And that's in the run game and in the passing game. And so 
um, it's important to, to, to make teams one dimensional. Um, just in general, uh, for good defense, you have to have great run defense. And, you know, with our defensive line, it just makes it makes the work for linebackers very easy. And then we got, got safeties and nickels who, who love to hit. And so um, it's important. And, and we take pride in it. And it's a lot of work and preparation. OK, last question from Amy Just. Yeah, I know we talked about it at length the other day, um, but y'all finally got to get out there and wear the Say Her Name shirts and have the helmet decals and continue that conversation. What did it feel like for y'all to put it out there in in the world uh, with everything that y'all are doing? Look, it's, it's, it's important to us. Uh, even in, in even though we, we, we get to play this great game, um, we just, we're not, we're not going to, you know, stop talking about these issues and, and stop using our platform to bring awareness to these issues and using our resources to bring change uh, in, in our communities. Um, you know, I think at the end of the day, um, when you hear people say it was never about the flag, it's, I say, you know, it, it, it was never about the flag for the people who had a problem with people speaking out about the issue. The people weren't mad because players were speaking out on issues. They, they, people were mad because players were speaking in general and doing something, doing the right thing. Uh, you have people, you know, you have players take a unity stance, people boo. So people, it's, it, it's never been about anything other than, you know, wanting players to stay in a place and not wanting to speak on the issues of the black community. But, you know, I'm just proud of so many players across all leagues, uh, WNBA, NBA, MLB, NFL, taking a stance and using their platforms to bring change. And it's forcing the world to have a conversation, forcing our country to have a conversation that we never had. And it's been had in schools, it's been had in churches, it's been had on every news station. 